everybody so today's video is going to be another one of my revision series for another one of my revision videos for my revision week for this week if you didn't know i'm uploading a video every single day this week about revision monday to sunday at 5 pm so stay tuned this video is very very specific so i don't think it's going to get that many views because it is so specific but somebody in the comments to a video that i put up asking for revision video ideas said how to revise organic chemistry and i was thinking actually yes that is quite interesting like how do you revise it because i know exactly what they mean there's these massive um things that we have to learn here basically like um mind map thingies of the synthetic roots basically and they said how to revise organic chemistry and i was like yeah that's a good idea because although it is incredibly specific and the majority of people you know that subscribe to my channel will not be interested in that at all i just wanted to upload it because i am gonna start revising that very soon so i don't actually have like thorough advice on how to revise it but i have got an idea of how i'm going to tackle revising it so i thought i might as well make this video i was originally going to do five videos this week instead of seven but then i thought you know i might as well just include this one in there just as a bonus video as a quick one um as well so when you're revising this you look at this bad boy and you think what the hell you look at it and you think that this is not this is not going to go in my brain like what even is this um and then obviously there's these two on this side as well um i would recommend first of all to pick a book so what i mean by that is i have the cgp chemistry a level revision guide for both years and i also have the big book which is um like a big chemistry book I, I, I just sound like i don't know what i'm on about but basically it's a thicker book full of information this is obviously a revision guide um both of them have got the synthetic roots mind map in them but they're both different now they're not different in terms of information they're different in terms of their layout so i would recommend just sticking to one of them just because when you go into the exam you want to remember kind of the mind map in a way and if you can remember it almost photographically then you can kind of picture where everything is however if you look at others as well you get a bit confused so first of all to tackle this you want to start off at the beginning of module six and you want to start off and you just want to go through and revise throughout the whole of module six it teaches you basically the whole of that mind map and it teaches you the individual reactions and make sure you revise each section first for each individual kind of route for example going from an alcohol to an aldehyde then to a carboxylic acid you learn that individual step first learn the reagents needed the conditions needed to get from that to that to that and what you need to do is make sure that you understand it a lot of people try and remember that um kind of mind map and just remember it off memory but if you actually go through the book um module six and you actually understand what is happening so why does an alcohol go to an aldehyde what is actually happening and you actually understand the bonds and things like that then it will help you to remember the actual mind map so go through each individual thing um also remember to go through kind of carboxylic acids acyl chlorides just everything go through it all phenol etc you know you know what i'm on about if you do chemistry a level okay so once you have revised everything individually so every different kind of step reaction everything once you've revised that individually go to your um mind map that you have chosen so the one that you have chosen remember to just stick to one because it will help you in the exam to be able to kind of picture just one rather than like a load of them um just because this is obviously in a different order to the one in the other book but it is exactly the same just the actual things are positioned differently on the page and then what i'd recommend is spend a week just kind of learning each section by section every day so say one day you want to learn alkenes to alkanes then to haloalkanes this little section here one day just emphasize on that section keep looking at the book don't you know 
go off and look at other pages focus on this section here remind yourself of what is actually happening almost like revision from the previous pages um remember the reagents needed that's where i always struggle to remember the reagents but just keep looking at it and focusing on this page so hopefully you will remember the page do that section by section so each day do a little bit more of the of the page go through each section obviously you've got this page as well um, but i'm just focusing on this one because it's nearest to me um, but just focus on section at a time don't think oh i'm going to spend a day remembering this because it's going to be a struggle try and do it bit by bit and then and then this is a little tip from my friend steph basically she has printed off a whole copy of the what or, or the mind maps that you have to remember so the synthetic group mind, mind map she's printed off a coffee a coffee a copy um a printed off a copy um and she has put it on her wall in her room i think and that is a good idea so put it somewhere where you're going to see it literally all the time for example if you wake up in the morning what is the wall that you are facing what wall do you see um and just put it there so that when you wake up in the morning you're not necessarily reading it but it's just kind of what you automatically see and in your head subconsciously you will be reading it for example if you do your makeup like me you can put it in front of you where because i do my makeup in front of a mirror so i could put it on the wall facing me so i could look at that whilst i'm doing my makeup and i could just read it um just every single day and then because you're seeing it so much you're going to start to remember where everything is and kind of remember what gets to what the trickiest bit is going to be remembering the reagents and conditions needed but you've just got to really put that effort in and hope for the best so yeah, putting it around somewhere in the house where you will see it a lot is a good tip. Then finally, when you think you've learned it and know it, get a blank sheet of paper and literally from your memory, so no help, draw out the organic kind of synthetic roots mind maps. Um, obviously there's three of them in this book for phenol, benzene and whatever. Um, draw it out as much as you can remember, as much as you know from it. Try and remember where everything went, the reagents, conditions, everything. And once you are sure that you've remembered as much as possible, look at it, mark it with a separate colour, and then anything that you've forgotten, write it in. Focus in on the things that you've forgotten and go through that. Um, go through why you forgot it or just kind of emphasise it. So be like, oh yeah, I forgot that. But don't just think, oh yeah, I forgot that go through it for a, like a couple of minutes to emphasize that so hopefully next time you remember not to forget that then say so the next day do it again get another blank piece of paper draw it out but just keep doing it until you get perfect with it and you thoroughly understand it and you know exactly what you're doing so that's what i would recommend to do um it is going to be difficult but it isn't actually as hard as you would think if you do it step by step and then what the best thing is then to do is do loads of past exam questions um, to test your knowledge on organic chemistry and hopefully having known that mind map hopefully you'll be able to answer the questions and just keep practicing and practicing and practicing and try and remember back to that mind map in your head and that should be it so that is kind of how i am going to be revising organic chemistry i haven't got to that bit yet but i will be very very soon i'm currently revising module six at the moment um so anyway um i know not a lot of people will be watching this but give it a thumbs up anyway if you want to subscribe for more videos and i will see you um very soon goodbye